Top freshman quarterback in the country in total offense and passing touchdowns. They will start on the ground with Pledger. And a chunk play will open things up for the Sooners as Pledgler is taken down by Marig. And a beautiful job here. Little counter action right there. You got the fullback out in front. You got a pulling guard kicking out. And Oklahoma offense, if we look at McGowan now. Second and 12, true freshman running back is in. Rattler, look at the time he has downfield. And in stride, he connects with Seth McGowan. And Holly, he makes a big difference with this offense, doesn't he? Him warming up in pregame warmups, and they have confirmed he's available, obviously. Guys, he had been out with percussion protocol, but it to the top of the formation there. Keep it on the ground, third and three, and into the end zone with something extra goes TJ Pledger. Strong opening drive for Oklahoma. Just split belly action and a beautiful job up front by that Oklahoma offensive line and a great start. Second and 13, Duggan downfield, wide open, complete to Barber again. So a big play on second and 13 to Tay Barber. Man, this is a beautiful route. If you look at Barber stemming inside, eyes inside, makes it look like you're running a slant, then he works his way back out to the corner. That's a great job of setting. Duggan on third and seven. Pressure, and he's taken down. That was Marcus Stripling with the sack. And a great job by Stripling. Just working right around the right edge, around Andrew Coker. Career tackles over what's been an excellent career. Here's Rattler on second and 13. And gets it complete to Weiss. Theo Weiss, the sophomore who had a big breakout game in the Red River rivalry a couple weeks ago. I love this right here, the effect on the safety, the hard play action. Ardarius Washington jumps on that initial over route. You got the post over the top. How disciplined their offensive linemen are in protection. Look at the pressure, and Rattler survives it. Nearly lost his balance, and now will tuck and run, get a first down and more. How about that play from Spencer Rattler? Dodge it. Yeah, this is amazing right here. I mean, TCU has the perfect defensive play call. Edge pressure, knowing that Oklahoma's going with a hard. It'll be a 40-yard field goal attempt for Burkich. And Burkich puts it through. Handled it with great maturity, and he vows to be better. Rattler. Nothing happening there as he is driven back by Coleman. Boots out here in Fort Worth, man, all day long. Play action, Rattler. He's got time to pick an option, but finally is driven down. Kari Coleman with the sack. The freshman from New Orleans. And this was a covered sack. I mean, nothing open downfield for Rattler. They went with a big-time protection. They had seven guys in protection, including a tight end and a running back. Under that a couple times. Hasn't worked with 100% accuracy, but that's a matchup they're going to try to exploit. First and 10, Rattler wide open and complete inside the 10 and into the end zone for Mims. Quick strike, Sooners, they do it again. Mims, the true freshman, one of the most productive players in Texas high school football history. Getting loose here in Fort Worth for a big score as the Sooners take a commanding lead. That's something offensively because their defense has no answers for what Oklahoma's doing right now. Duggan able to connect and staying with it is Pro Wells. Just what they needed. Pro Wells inside the 30. The big 6'4", 250 pounder able to break tackles and then Broyles finally had to track him down. Do you watch. You're going to see the flow. Look at the flow running from right to left with that jet sweep action. You run Pro Wells right to that area in which the Sooner defenders were running with that jet sweep. That's just a good job of Mr. Direct snap. Foster lined up in the Wildcat. Hesitates, has a seam, and has the end zone. DeMarque Foster had to have it.
momentum gainer for TCU. This is a really good job. You're going to see full action right here and flow over the top. It's just a load power to the left. However, the running back feels it, Foster does, sees that opening on the right side of the offensive line, just not operating offensively the way they're capable. Second and seven, pressure off the edge. Cat blitz, he survives. Now goes backwards, and Duggan is taken down. As it was Asamoah who finally got to him. Here, actually, safety's really coming from both sides. Edge pressure. No one there to account for Fields as he blitzed off the left. And working diligently to grow into that body and be productive. Drake Stoops with the ghost motion here on first down. Rattler with plenty of time. Look at the touch on this. And he gets it complete to Weiss. Weiss redirects and has it down yeah, just complete. inside the 20. Yeah, Weiss. Gives Spencer Rattler plenty of time to sit back there, survey, allow Weiss to cross all the way from left to right, and a beautiful... Going very conservative there on third and goal. And just a nice and easy 22-yard field goal for Burkish. A little worried about dehydration, but not as much about hydration. Here's Pledger. Catches a seam on second and eight and all the way out past the 30-yard line. All right, we teed up the Aflac trivia question for you, Greg. Second and five. Rattler. Wants another big one downfield. Into the hands of Mims, and Mims into the end zone. This young receiver for Oklahoma is doing his thing. Beat Stewart and tack on a 61-yarder to the 50-yarder he's already banked. Going on the ground, so what do they do? They go heavy play action with a puller out in front. I mean, this looks just like the run play. That's why they get in islands. They get in one-on-one -on -one situations. And Mims, who has been such a wonderful surprise for this Oklahoma Sooner offensive staff, they buttoned up some issues that they might have had at times there in the second quarter. Here's Mims on the return. Mims breaks the first would-be tackler. Mims is past midfield. Have yourself a day, young Mr. Mims. 32-yard attempt from Burkich. And he splits the uprights, his third made field goal of the day. Duggan being chased, and then in stride, he is able to connect. And that is Zach Evans, five-star true freshman running back. Notre Dame wants to run the ball. Pitt, one of the best in the country against the run. What gives? Duggan able to escape the pocket. This is what Duggan does very well. Look at the separation and then the toughness at the end. He doesn't mind taking a hit as he ends up on the stairs heading up to the band. Nothing there. Go north and south and then... You see that speed oh, in the open field. Evading tacklers, little spin move, and then... Number 25 of their last 27 true road games. To the end zone, Duggan. Is that caught? Yes! Tremendous effort by Pro Wells. Six-foot-four frame, goes up and gets it. Job here, Pro Wells at 6'4", like Tess alluded to, working against the smaller, more undersized Buki Radley Hiles. He's listed at only 5'9", till his senior year. Kyler Murray arrived as a backup, got better and better and better under Lincoln Riley's tutor. Here's McGowan. He tried to stay in bounds right there. One of the most reliable place kickers in the country. We'll add to that total. For Oklahoma, 33 to 14. What do you say we put an end to this thing here in Fort Worth where Oklahoma 
gets their third win of the season. They've won seven straight against TCU. They've won 25 of their last 27 true road games. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.